um, kind of tying into our next question. So we've all noticed that during video conferencing meetings um, that some folks might be distracted. So what can we do to encourage others to be more engaged and engaging? Monique, I think you had some really good advice for this one. Yeah, so I know we were talking about this um, before we started, but in terms of being engaging, first of all, there's a ton of distractions happening. So for those of you that are watching right now, let's test your distraction meter, right? How many tabs do you have open on your computer right now? Just go ahead and drop it in the chat. How many do you have open? Uh, because here's the thing, we know that there are multiple things that are going on, 14, 10, wait a minute, hold on, 12, Beverly. <laughs> and so guess what? More than two means your distraction meter is so high. So when we're talking about engaging and being engaging in our online um, meetings or presentations, the first thing that we want to think about is really calling out the distractions calling out the distractions because we know we have them, they're internal, they're external, the dog is here, the kids are there, the husband is there. So really calling it out and really helping people to focus. The next thing you wanna think about is being very brief. So in-person meetings may have taken an hour. Right now, you wanna think about 15 to 20 minutes. People just don't have the capacity right now to have hour long meetings, especially if there aren't multiple things that need to be addressed. So think about how you can shorten those meetings. It will help you get focused, get to the point, and then relax your expectations. So everybody's not going to have their camera on. Um, some people uh, get tired. So you want to make sure that your expectations are what you're setting for people. It, it is realistic, and that will help them to be engaged because you're putting yourself in their shoes. So it's all about empathy. And, and finally, because we're in a space where, for example, you guys can see us and we can't see you, but you can, you can see us and you can hear us. We can't even hear you. We can only see what you type in the chat. So using the other senses will help you to be more engaging as a presenter using the power of storytelling. You know, I've been a speaker for a very long time. And so one of the things I think before, uh, ladies, we were talking about earlier is recently I competed in the Association for Talent Development Top 5 Master Trainer Showdown Competition. Y'all really need to give me a hand clap because look, I didn't win. I didn't win, but I participated. And one of the things I talked about was using your voice, the power of your voice to engage your audience. If anybody wants to see a copy of that, just hit me up on LinkedIn. I'll send it to you. But being able to be a storyteller when you bring in your meetings or help people to connect the dots, that's one way to keep them um, focused and to reduce the distractions. 